ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एन आर और कलरफुल इमेज टू ए ग्रे आर ब्लैक एंड वाइट इमेज सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू क्रिएट यूर प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज दी सी हैश प्रोजेक्ट then click on visual c hash windows windows forms application and write the name of the project is rgb2 ah uh, gray okay you can write any other name of your own choice click on okay this is our working window now we will take one push button and two picture boxes so common controls are push button and two what's called is the picture boxes so one picture box is there and the other is there okay so these are our two picture boxes so we will double click on the push button so that we can go into the callback of that particular push button so whenever the button will get clicked all the statements within the these two brackets will get executed okay so we here we will first of all we will read our image okay so we will write a class name that is called as uh, bitmap r and we will create an object for this so you must know the way of creating the object so bitmap is our class bi underscore mg is the variable you can write any other name instead of this and that thing will become the object of that particular bitmap class and and you you should have to write new and bit bitmap because uh, this is the standard way to create an object now in these parentheses we will try to give give the link of the file which we need to read okay so here we have this uh, cactus plant and we will go to properties we will go to its location csc is, is its name dot jpg is is the extension of that particular file so we will go and we will write this this csc dot jpeg okay okay wait it's a csc okay we also need to uh, double these slashes slashes okay and you also need to put double quotes here double quotes are very necessary here because argument is taken or parameter is taken in the form of string this is our file so now we need to display this uh, file in picture box one so we will write image image dot from file okay so here we will write again the this okay so this is our what's called is the picture box one image so image from file from this file picture box one dot image is the property which will insert first take the first it will take the image from that location and then insert it in the picture box one so we will write uh, push button one and our image has been displayed although the uh, picture box is some bit small so we, we need to make it large like this we will adjust the button we need to adjust the button like this and i need to make these picture boxes large okay like this okay so we will run it out like this and this okay this is our uh, we can a little we can make it a, a little bit more okay some bit more big like this and this one to like uh, this
now you can see that our image will be displayed properly okay now again we will go to code now we need to declare two variables of integer data type one is w and one is h okay one is w in w is equal to bi underscore mg the object of the class dot width dot width in w is equal to bi now what is this bi underscore mg is the object of the class and dot width uh, function will give the width of the uh, what's called as uh, the object which is actually an image width of the image and then it will be stored inside this variable w of integer data type okay so again we will write bi underscore mg is equal to uh, sorry dot height okay it will store the height in in integer w the width of the image will be stored and in h variable height of the image will be stored now again we will write a new class that is called as color and we will make a variable of pixa pixa is a variable of color class you are not supposed to go into the complexities that what so obviously it if it is color class it is related to some rgb image okay or red blue and green uh, colors the spectrum of the uh, web goyer okay so this is now we will uh, write two loops okay two for loops so first for we will write int a is equal to zero a is less than height a is less than uh height okay or h okay and a plus plus a plus plus okay this is our first loop this is our first loop okay and inside that loop we 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 will we will run second for loop which will say int b is int b is equal to zero b must be less than what's called is the width and b plus plus okay b plus plus and these are its two brackets okay so okay now okay now inside the inner loop we will write pixa pixa is equal to bi underscore mg bi underscore mg dot get pixel get get pixel okay a built-in function a comma b a is the value of x-axis and b is the value of y-axis okay x because image consists of different points okay image consists of different points and every point lies on a specific location that is on x comma y coordinates it has every point has some x axis and y axis value so bi underscore mg dot get pixel a comma b so it will get pixel uh, means that rgb value and give it to the pixel now we will write now we will take the single rgb value from okay single rgb value so we will write int ap which is a variable of uh, integer data type ap is the name of the uh, variable is equal to pixa dot a pixa dot a int rp is equal to pixa dot r that is of it it will give the right color which within every pixel because every pixel consists of rgb okay and g p is equal to pixar dot g okay and int b p is equal to pixar dot b okay so int a p is equal to pixar dot a int pixar rp is equal to pixar dot r 
and gp is equal to pixel and, and they will re, they will give the uh, just like pixar.a will just give the a value and this is uh, r pixar.org gives the uh, red value within the rgb uh, okay rgb point okay because uh, every point is the combination of red blue and green color every color okay so that is why we will just get these three values now we will take the average now we will take the average and average is equal to rp plus gp plus bp divided by three because uh, this this is the uh, average formula that you need to sum all the quantities and divide by their number so so we got our average so now we will write now we will set the pixels first get pixel and then set pixel now we will write bi underscore mg is equal to bi underscore mg is equal to not dot set pixel dot set pixel and we will write the values of first a comma b a comma b is the okay a comma b is is for location because a represents the value of like uh, height okay point by point and b is for width okay point by point the values will come inside a comma b then we will take color from a r g b color dot from a r g b again we will put bracket in it from a r g b and we will write a p comma average sorry average a p comma average okay comma average comma average comma average comma average now we have taken the average of all these things okay so rather than value of r g and b we have set ev ev every pixel point to average that is we have load the values okay so this is the core logic this line is the core logic of the whole program now okay now we will write okay now this is our this thing we will write picture box 2 dot image is equal to bi underscore img bi underscore img okay so now we will see that either okay wait uh, where it is B, okay it is bi underscore mg okay not i and uh, not img okay so now we will see that either okay where to the side positive and less than height okay a comma b okay wait let me see there is some problem sorry it is uh, a comma height a b is less than w okay the side dot get pixel a comma b okay okay we we have to choose another image if we want because i think that this image is a little bit large okay this image is very large for for this calculation so i will go and check some small image so this is cse2 okay okay so we will write cse2 dot jpeg cse2 okay now again it is saying that we when using the overload to argument find string or find is we don't check the start index parameters make sure the index is less than the size of the collection 
okay wait okay i got the problem you just need to uh, put its uh, b comma a and here b comma a is also also okay because it must be height comma width height comma width the variable which is uh sorry it is width comma height width comma height because width is representing x-axis and height is representing y-axis so that is why it is like that okay so now we will run our push button and we got our images like this okay so this is our result you can see that colored images being converted to rgb or grayscale so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe